Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within Long War. So, we have got a bunch of stuff done last episode, spent a whole bunch of cash, and we also acquired some potential good stuff in the future, and beat down a reasonably easy invasion as well. But look at this stuff. We've got co Council Report in seven days, Covert Operation in six, Laser Cannons in six, Enhanced Lasers in five, not that I have any idea what that does, Experimental Warfare in three, lots of good stuff on the way, so let's spin the globe and get to some of it. Alright, France wants us to give them 16 Illyrium for two engineers. I'm not super keen on that, but we'll do it anyway. That should give us a little bit more uh, defense in Europe, because Europe is definitely having a hard time getting attacked pretty heavily. Let's scan for activity again and see what else we get here before time goes by too far. Commander, Situation room, presence required. What's going on channel. here? The aliens are moving to sabotage a major transportation network near a German railway station using a device of unknown destructive capabilities. If they succeed, it's only going to spread panic amongst the nearby civilian population. We can't let that happen. Well, this is actually perfect. This is ideal. Because Germany is, again, on the brink of leaving us. But if we can get a panic reduction in Germany by solving this bomb disposal, that might actually save them. So let's do this. 253 credit reward is really nice, too. Let's launch this mission. We're going to go deal with a bomb problem. Now, this is probably going to be almost exclusively done with Thin Men again, but I don't know if that's true or not, because this game likes to throw curveballs at you. So we're going to see what we're bringing with us, and we'll go from there. Now, I'm thinking we'll bring Gunda, Lockdown, as our sniper here. It is a train bomb mission again, it sounds like, so this could be a problem for not having good sight lines, but we'll take her anyway. Uh, I think she actually has... doesn't Gunda have squad sight? Okay, she, she has squad set, but she has precision shot instead of uh, the moving and shooting ability, which is what I thought she had there. Okay, we want to bring a high mobility assault, if we have one. Don't seem to have one. Okay, let's bring Zulu Carol as our scout, then. That'll give us some more mobility on the battlefield. We want to bring an assault, so we could bring Farisiani with her 13 movement range. She's probably the best of the options we've got right now. Yeah... Looks like it. McLaughlin is our highest movement range assault, and he's busy. So let's bring Farisiani. We want to bring mostly corporals or lower if we can, still, because we're trying to train up weaker units, and this shouldn't be too hard. We could bring Gonzalez here as a gunner. Somebody else we could bring as a gunner lower rank? We could bring Yablonska, who's only a corporal as well. Let's bring them. Who else could we bring on this mission? We have a gunner, assault, scout, and sniper. We could totally use an engineer on this mission. Let's bring uh, Bolos on this mission. Who else do we want to bring with us? Huh, a Rocketeer would be a good choice. Let's bring Tectonic Wu. We still have an opportunity to bring a Medic, which we really should do, since we're going into a mission that's probably full of Thin Men. So Martin, you're probably going to come on this mission. Your movement is pretty bad. Maybe I could bring uh, Moreno into a Medic? I don't know if I really want to do that right now, though. A lot of our better medics are injured right now. We'll bring Martine, though. She's from Canada. She'll help us out. And with Sniper, Scout, Assault Gunner, Engineer, Rocketeer, and a Medic, all we're really missing right now is an Infantry to fill out all the classes. I'm tempted to bring another Medic, though, to make this a little bit easier for us to not get constantly blasted with poison. But we don't actually have another Medic. Wow. Our Medics are... In trouble. We need to build up our medic supplies. Maybe I will turn Moreno into a medic. His aim is pretty bad, like I said, though. I'm not super keen on making him a medic. Somebody has to rely on shooting if he's going to be doing anything offensive. Instead, we could... Actually, both of our shivs are down, too. Can't even bring Atlas on this mission. Who else do we want to bring, then? Who else do we want to bring? We have a couple options. I might bring another fast-moving unit to get a bit of emergency healing happening. I don't know, though. Or I could bring another gunner. Arcade Min is still, I think, uh, corporal rank, which is unusual for our officers. I might bring them, just to double-check. Are you actually the same rank as uh, Yabrniska? You've wrong, wrong button. You've got three abilities, yeah. And you... I've got four abilities. Okay, so you're a little bit higher rank. 
You're actually second lieutenant, not just first rank lieutenant. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, let's get you out of here then. You're not coming with us on this mission. We don't need two gunners. I will take another assault in that case. Just to give us a bit more mobility in this map, because we need to be able to move around and take down those uh, control pillars. So we'll take Hoda Samad on this mission. Not going to give them a shotgun, so we only have one of those. We'll see about this, though. So, quickly gear these people up for battle. We need to actually make items available first, of course, though. There we go. Gunda, you are going to equip yourself with the laser sniper. Thank you very much. And a scope for your troubles. Zulu O'Carroll, you're going to need a laser rifle. And you're going to need an arc thrower, so you can help us capture aliens. Frisiani, you're going to take an arc thrower. You have slightly better movement than the other assault. I'm also going to give you the scatter laser. Pistol flashbang seems good to me. Yabloniska, you're going to need your auto laser and a scope to improve your aim. Thank you very much. Christos Bolos, you're going to need a SMG most likely. I might give you a real laser gun. We'll see if I have any left. But more importantly, double alien grenades for massive firepower. Okay. Tectonic, you basically got what you need. You've got the laser carbine, rocket, scope, and uh, additional rocket. That seems fine to me. Martin, you need a real gun, so let's give you a laser rifle. You have the medkits. I might give you double medkits, because you might need them on this mission. There we go. Double medkits it is. Samad, as our assault, you are going to be taking an actual heavy laser rifle. A normal laser rifle, rather. And you're going to be equipping yourself as well with a scope, maybe, to make up for the fact that your aim is going to be a little bit subpar. That should give you pretty reasonable accuracy. There's no uh, other arc throwers left anyway. So Samad is a laser assault, which is very unusual for our strategies thus far. I think this will work out for us, though. Now, Christos, do I have anything else I could give you instead of the SMG? I have a heavy laser rifle, which is not what I want to be giving you. So, never mind. We're just going to deal with it as it is. So, you have your SMG, and you're going to be mostly using bombs. Let's launch this mission and go deal with some, uh, some Thin Men, hopefully. If it's not Thin Men, I'm going to regret giving my medic six medkits, but it's probably Thin Men. Let's get over here. So... Yep, it's the same train tunnel we always border. get. Not always, but uh, this is one of the classic bomb mission locations. Alright, let's go, let's go. Hopefully we can get through this. That's par partly why I thought bringing two assaults would wind up being a good idea for us. More abilities to quickly move around the map and grab those uh, bomb consoles in an emergency. Let's get in here. We don't have a lot of time on this one. The aliens All right, there's the a couple consoles immediately, so that's good. That's not cover. Let's move up with somebody who can actually do something. Okay, Carol, get behind that sign. We're picking up some Nothing immediately spotted. That's a lot the of those bomb signatures. Are using some kind of that's useful to know. To charge their bomb for detonation. Christos. Get us a bomb. To get to the explosive itself. Cool. Alright, first turn, already deactivated one bomb console. Power That's good. Jabroniska, you're going to move up to Stop here. Moving. Still no alien spotted. This is really good for our first turn so far. Let's move you up into some real cover. Never mind, you can't get to any real cover. I don't really want to stand you here though either, because you're not going to be able to see anything. Let's move again with O'Carroll, move her over to I here. Should be safe. Nope. We triggered a pack of sectoid, a pack of, pack of thin men and a sectoid over there. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to move up to here safely now, but I won't be able to. Apparently moving the wrong way is a big problem for us. Okay. I want to get my sniper forwards at least. So Gunda, you're going to come stand over here, so you should be able to help us out in the future. It's not ideal, but it's something. Frisiani. I'd love to move you up as well, but I have the same problem as before. I don't really want to move into a position where you're going to be vulnerable. Frisiani, you're going to stand behind the sign, which should make you safe from these guys. Wu, you can make it a little bit further, but again, not really into a useful position for now. You're going to run over here. I wish this counter does cover, but apparently the stairs make it not be something you can take cover behind, which is kind of silly, if you ask me. Samad is our laser rifle assault. I probably want to move them. Martin is our medic. I really want to keep them safe. So let's keep them back here. 
The other thing we want to be careful about is grouping our team up too closely. Because if everything's grouped together like this, the Thin Men are going to love to spit acid at us. We're going to have you just overwatch for now, though, Christos. And Martine, you're going to overwatch, I guess. Not that it makes a huge difference right now. Samad, you're going to run over to here. So these two are probably going to get coated in acid, but at least they'll be at the front lines and they'll be in a better position than otherwise. And we'll see what happens this turn anyway. You never know. Alright, here comes a Thin Man. He gets shot by Samad, which is going to probably do a little bit of damage. Rather, Pulos. Balance three damage to him. That's good. Better than nothing. He's in cover now. He's probably going to take a shot at us, which is going to suck. No, it looks like it's actually a double move. I think we're safe here. People are moving back there. Okay, that was perfect. That was a double move to get to us, so we're fine. Alright, now our sniper should be able to see them. Gunda. Perfect. 77% chance to kill that guy. Do it. Don't miss him. That's a big miss to me. That's a big miss. Gunda. That's not how we do things here. We kill our enemies. Alright, Christos. You're gonna come over here and grab this. That might trigger more enemies behind us. It did not. That's basically perfect. So you could take a shot at this guy, but your 38% chance is pretty atrocious. It's good to grab that power node quickly, though. And we're going to want to move over here, because I'm guessing the bomb is over in this location. That's normally where they like to hide it. So, we are going to move up on that position soon. We have a hollow targeting we can throw on this guy from somewhere. O'Carroll does. So, O'Carroll, you could move up, but I'm not super keen on moving you up right away. Let's throw you against this wall first. And from here, you can see two enemies. You can see this guy and that one in the back. Go for the 52% chance on this guy. It's a miss, but the hollow targeting will help us. That one is on Overwatch, so you have to be careful about that. <clears throat> Samad, you can see you have your laser rifle. What can you see? 67% chance to hit that guy now is not atrocious, but we want to be able to move forwards if we can and do something to this... Uh, further forwards enemy. Unfortunately, I shot with my scout first, so I can't break that overwatch. I probably should have double moved with them. Samad could dash over to here, which will give us a big uh, miss chance on this guy, but that's not necessarily the best option for us either. Hmm. Our shotgun assault Frisiani. I might move you up to here. You'll take the bigger risk. You're going to move up. You might take a couple overwatches here. Hopefully you don't. You should be safe. You have a good amount of dashing happening, which makes him pretty inaccurate. They missed you with the first shot. Sectoid might get a shot at you as well. We'll see, though. Here comes the Sectoid Overwatch. That looks good. No, it's a miss. Good. That's what we wanted. So we should have a decent shot at this guy. Yeah. Good shot at him. Bad shot at the people in the back, though. Alright, 10 damage critical. Freesiani uh, got herself a promotion, which is great. We've spent the overwatches, so we can move up and do more work with other people. Now, Loco, I'm going to move you up to here. And you're going to take a shot through this window. 42%'s not great, but I'm going to have you take a shot anyway. You got him. Three damage is three damage. Okay. That'll help. Yabroniska, you're going to move up, I think. I'm not sure where I want to put you, though. Some of these people are in kind of unfortunate positions. Yabroniska, if you move up to here, can you see anything? You can see one enemy. What's your aim at him? 43%? Again, not very good. You're going to take a shot, though. you got plenty of ammo. Should have done that first, really, for the holo targeting bonus, but whatever. Christos might move up and take a shot. Can I do anything with our medic, though? Not safely, no. Because this is an exposed tile. This one isn't, apparently, but... There's nowhere good to put them right now. So if I move up with Wu to here, can Wu see that Thin Man? No. Wu's going to overwatch then, in case he comes forwards at all. He can't see this overwatch, so we should be safe there. We're going to run Martin over to here, so that we're closer to the front lines, but we're also out of acid range. They won't know to acid us, because we're pretty spread out here. The odds of them using acid are pretty slim. And I think, Bonos, you're just going to move here for this turn. Hello, more Thin Men, okay. Three more of them, in fact. That could be a problem. And they're up on the roof of the train. Okay, stop there. Nope. That could be a problem. That's an overwatch, that's not so bad. And that's a movement which might trigger an overwatch. No, it does not. He's taking a shot at us. Thankfully, his aim's not great, so we're okay for now. This is a problem over here, though. 
Is that more Thin Men moving? It sounds like it is. Yeah, okay. So we need to move up then, because this is no longer a safe position. So, we are going to run and gun with our other assault, I think, who's in here. If Samad run, run and guns, she'll be able to get pretty close to these guys, but not to a safe position close to them. Because that's the line they're in, and there's no cover over there. On the other hand, she could run over here, which might give her a flank shot on this guy, but might not, because she's not actually in line with him. Hmm, that's not as good as I'd hoped. Okay. Baulos, you can't actually make it to that either, because there's... I guess because there's people in the way? I don't know. That's definitely a problem, though. Zulu, you're going to move up and burn that overwatch. We're going to try and kill both of these guys this turn, so I'm going to move you into a position that's not actually safe. Because ideally, they'll both be dead anyway. That was a close shot. Let's move up, though. Get into position. Okay, from here, we have a 37 and a 37 at these guys. Not uh, particularly exciting numbers to see. I can move up further. I can get over to here with Bolos, but I want to get him into this position here in the corner. But I guess it's because uh, Samad's blocking that spot. So if I move with Samad, that should clear up a position for us to move forward with. Do I put Samad here? It could be bad if there's enemies hiding over here, but it'd be safer from those guys. Let's move Samad down to the bomb trigger first. Grab that. Let's see where we can send our well done. Node agent here. He can make it down to here. Let's do this. <clears throat> From here, he might be able to throw a grenade and blow up that cover, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. He can. Now, if we blow him up right in the middle, it will insta-kill both of them. Which might not be the end of the world, honestly, but isn't really what we're trying to do, either. A shot here has a 54% chance to hit that guy, which isn't that bad. Now, this guy's going to be a problem for sure. For sure. Let's move Martine over to here, though. That way she should be safer from him. She has a shot over in this direction. 39, 39. Not very good. Still the 54 that guy. I might take it still. Tectonic, you're actually in a pretty bad spot right now. So is Yerlunska. Because that guy in the back is going to give us a hard time. Well, let's see if we can do a more cautious, I guess, grenade throw here. And just blow up the cover. I don't know if this is going to work at this distance, because the explosion is much more powerful near the middle. But if you can blow up that cover, it'll make it a lot easier for the other team to kill these guys without wasting the uh, corpses or parts. So we'll chuck a grenade over there. There we go. I'll be back in just one second. Alright, I normally try my best to record when I'm not in a situation that will get me interrupted, but sometimes it happens anyway. So, here we are. We just blew this thing up. It's been a little bit of time. What are we going to be doing to take these guys down with? O'Carroll has the laser rifle, which will probably be enough to kill these guys. I'm not super keen on wasting a run and gun now, because we've actually got these guys cleared out. So it should be easy enough for us to take them down now, because they have no cover. So, if we're going to be using people at the front lines here, Samad has a laser rifle, which should be enough to kill one of these guys. Surprisingly enough, our aim isn't that good. Hmm. Alright, let's take a shot here at the Thin Man with Samad. This should take it out. <laughs> that 87% miss. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. Can we get a hit with somebody else? Can you actually see them? That's another interesting question. Martine can see them. So if we need another shot, Martine has one. Let's take a shot then with O'Carroll. We might need to run and gun after all if our aim's this bad. Let's take a shot at the Thin Man again. 82%. There we go. She knows what's up. Takes the enemy down, no problem. Now, Tectonic, I'm going to move you down to here, which is exposed from this location, but that's not going to be a problem, because that enemy's not going to live very long. You're going to take him out with your 100% chance to hit. He should go down to you. Oh, woo, no! The three damage hit is literally the worst thing you could have done. Okay. We're going to move Gunda up to here, so they'll have a sight line down this way eventually. Apparently they can't see... Oh, we can't see him anymore, that's why. I was going to say, apparently they can't see that guy anymore, and that's specifically why. Now, if I go to take a pistol shot with Gunda, do I have a chance to kill this guy? We might. He is in our actual line of sight. Yeah, but not a very good one. So we're instead going to steady weapon here, so we're ready to take something down next turn with the laser sniper rifle. Um, Yablonska, you're going to move over to nowhere yet. First, we're going to have Martin take a shot at this guy. 84% chance to finish him off. Don't fail me now. The misses! Wow! 
So many 80% misses here, it's insane. Alright, Nicola, move over to here. Doomsday, take this guy out, please. 88% chance to finish him. What? What? Really, game? Really? Okay, our aim is apparently absolutely atrocious. So we're gonna have to run and gun with Fericiani this turn, otherwise we're not... Oh, we can't run and gun with Fericiani. Alright, well, Fericiani's gonna have to take a shot. We'll have to get a bit closer. 82% is good, but... I don't like him... I don't like not being in cover here with her, but... I don't even trust this 82. We failed so many of them. Come on, game. Don't kill me like this. Finally. Okay, we got the shot. You wouldn't think we'd miss so many of those 80% shots. That's insane. Alright, shot coming in from the Thin Man on an exposed person. Ooh, six damage. Not dead, though. That's the important thing. Up on the rooftop. Dropping down the other side. You taking a shot as well? Don't die on me now. Okay, thankfully they can't see the person back there, so taking a per shot of a person in cover, that's much better for us. That looked like it hurt. More people moving. Can you see any of these guys? You can see one of them is an exposed target. That's an easy kill for you. Take the precision shot here just to make sure he goes down as best we can. It should be an easy kill for you. Don't mess it up. Thank you, seven damage. Not a crit, but at least he's dead. Okay, what else do we see here? We know there's still this guy hiding in this uh, here position. Samad, who, who is this? Frisiani took the damage there, ouch. Well, I'm going to send O'Carroll over to this power cell. There we go, that buys us another couple turns. I still don't see the bomb. That'll buy you some time. Hmm. At least there's a couple more power nodes nearby, but we're going to have to move up a bit more aggressively if we want to actually be safe here. Now we have another... We have two assaults. Our medic is where? Medic is in the train. That's right. Martine, if you take a shot at this guy, you have a 54% chance to hit him, which isn't atrocious. But before we do that, we should try and take a shot with somebody who will give us an accuracy bonus. Now... You guys can see him from here? Okay, good. Christos, you're going to move up for me. Oh, there's an Overwatch somewhere. Ooh, okay. Luckily, it doesn't hit you. I guess we should have guessed there was an Overwatch somewhere since we couldn't see it. But, at least he's also standing in the open. And there's a whole bunch more Thin Men over there. Okay. Well, that could be a problem. That could indeed be a problem. Alright, well, at least we know they're here now. Now, Bolos, you have a shot at this guy at a 68% chance. Or you can grenade... You can hit him, but you can't really hit far enough. You could blow up some of this cover, but I don't know if that's going to make a big difference. You might just take a shot at the exposed enemy. Um, we're definitely in a bit of a pickle here, though. So can you see him? O'Carroll. Oh, O'Carroll oh, can see him, but she'll be out of ammo, if, even if she misses the shot. Take the shot anyway. We're going to mark him. Ooh, five damage is a good hit, too. All right, that's what we wanted. So, Martine, you're going to try and get some healing on Fericiani. Can Fericiani get in the train? No, because you're blocking the window, aren't you? No, you're not. You just can't jump up there, I guess. You can only jump down. Now, I'm guessing if I stand Mart uh, Fericiani outside, I can't heal them, and it'll get killed anyway. The reason I want to do this is because I think she has paramedic. Yes, yeah, she does. So she'd be able to heal as a free action, but I want to use her to try and kill this guy as well with a 64% chance shot. So Fericiani needs to get to her so that I can heal... But I don't think you can even heal across this gap. I'm pretty sure it's only a one space range, and I don't want to put Freesiani oops. Don't want to put Freesiani in trouble if I don't need to. So we might wind up not using her much this turn. Um Woo, you could move up to here though, and you might be able to finish that guy off for us. Let's move you into the train. You should have a 70% chance to hit him. 85, do that. You only need to tap him to kill him. Thank you. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. So now I can afford to bring Martine out to heal Freesiani as long as I can get Freesiani to a good position. So Samad, you're going to move up to here. You have a shot at the exposed Thin Man there, which is great. This should be a really good shot for you as an assault. You have a really high crit chance, but you didn't crit. Okay, that is unfortunate. You're also out of ammo now. So, Freesiani, can I get... 
you can go to either of those spots, can't you? Yes, you can. Okay, Fericiani, you're going to come stand here. Which is not great, but it's at least a little bit more forward than you were. And we're going to bring Martine down to here, who should be able to heal you no problem from there. There we go. Heal you as a free action. Back up to full. Fantastic. And now we can overwatch with Martine to protect us a bit more. Unfortunately, I was planning on putting uh, our heavy gunner there. And now there's no good cover nearby to put Fericiani in. I didn't think that through properly. Hmm. Alright. That is unfortunate. I could put uh, Nicola over here, but then she's probably going to get hit with acid. I might do it anyway, because that gives her more mobility and she's in high cover anyway. And there's nothing I can shoot at this turn. They're all too far away. Christos can try for the crit here for the kill. It's going to use all of his ammo, but we're going to try it anyway. Big miss for Christos. That's not good for us. Frisiani, you're going to reload, I think. Because you wouldn't be able to hit anything with an Overwatch shot anyway. Now this guy's going to get out of uh, the exposed position he's in, unfortunately, which is bad. If we'd been able to kill him there, that would have been really nice. But he's just booking it, it looks like. Alright, more Thin Men coming into the building. Thankfully, we should all be in actual cover now. We have an Overwatch shot coming in on him from Martine. It's a big miss right there, Martine. Miss the target. That should have been a double move, I think. Yeah. That might have only been one move. He's overwatching. Okay. Now what? That's all we're seeing, which means we're going to have to probably take a pretty aggressive move with O'Carroll here to try and get those overwatches to burn. But I also need to reload O'Carroll, so we might not make a particularly aggressive play after all. I can move up to here... There's the bomb. At least I'm pretty sure that's the bomb. I can't remember for sure. I don't remember what it looks like by its outline. Do we have a shot here with our sniper? We probably don't. No, because we can't see down this far anymore. We could move up with somebody else. We'll probably get a whole bunch of overwatches to the face. I think the, the smart move is still on taking our scout, even though they have no ammo, and moving up with them to here because that way we have a better chance of being able to move up and keeping the pressure on the Thin Men this turn. So this shot should be an easy miss. That 90% reduction on the first shot is huge. And we didn't find anything else. That's not what I was counting on. Not what I was counting on at all. Okay, well then. Let us deal with this as we may then. So, Christos, you're going to move up a little bit. You might throw a grenade to blow both their cover up. I could have moved you up to there, which might have been a good move to get more charge time, but those are both in within easy range. There's a, That's what I was hoping for. A thin man sitting out in the side over here. Now we can take him out with Gunda. You should have a 100% chance to vaporize this poor soul. And that's another easy kill for Gunda. The Nine Mile Snipes are real. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. Samad is out of ammo, which is not great. There's somebody else who's out of ammo too, though, isn't there? I guess it's just our scout. But they've double moved, so that's fine. We're going to have to probably reload Samad this turn. I might run and gun her for the reload, but we'll see. Now what I'm thinking here is we blow up both those plant pots. Because if we blow up both the plant pots, that'll make it a lot easier for us to finish off these thin men. So let's do this. I might kill this guy outright. No, I won't. Where did the, the weakened one must have run further away then. Very little damage, but their cover is gone, which is the key thing here. Now, Frisiani, if I run and gun with you, can you make it all the way up to there? No. Okay, that's going to make things a bit more problematic. Um, you can see him, so you're probably going to try and shoot him. Now, on the other hand, what can you see? Tectonic, you can also see him, but you have much less chance of actually killing him. This one's weakened. Uh, then again, a critical hit from... Uh, from Doomsday here, we'll kill basically whatever we point her at. Who else can see them? Fericiani can, but not well. Congo can't. Samad has no ammo. So with Samad, what I should do is I should move her into a position where she's hidden, but we'll be able to reload, because otherwise she's not going to be much used. Here's unsafe, because if he runs over to here, he can get a flank on us. So Samad, as much as I don't like it, you're going to move over here and you're going to just reload this turn because you need some ammo. Now, I'd love to flashbang these guys. I might have been able to do it with them if I was a bit more risky with my moves, but I'm still pretty careful at the moment. We might send Martine over to here, so she'll have a line of sight on these guys. At least one of them. Now, a shot from here has a decent chance of killing them, so how's your luck, Martine? 
Not good. You left him with one health. That's basically the worst outcome. And you're also out of ammo now, which isn't great either. We have a couple people left. Where in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to use Tectonic, his last shot, to ping off this guy's health with no chance of missing. Good. He's out of ammo though now, though. And we're going to move up with uh, Doomsday. There we go. And hopefully get the line of sight from her. 88% chance with a 50% chance to kill. There's the kill. Good. That was what I was counting on. That crit chance is powerful with them. Now, I can't run up to where I want to go, so I'm going to move up halfway. And we're going to overwatch with you, because I don't want to get in a position where we're completely exposed, even though an overwatch shot at max range isn't going to do anything anyway. They actually didn't take a turn. We have two turns left of activity here before the bomb blows. So, Balos, you're going to move up to this bomb. You might take a shot here. That's probably a bad idea. No, you're safe. That's good. Disarm that bomb, get us an extra turn. You now I can move up with O'Carroll up to here. There's the bomb. Well, you, know. you don't see any aliens That's either. That's interesting. Need to get next to it in order to disarm it. I'm sure we will, we Shen. I'm sure we will. Okay. Well, that's not too hard. It's within a pretty reasonable range. We're going to have O'Carroll reload because she doesn't have any chance to help us right now. Martine needs to reload as well. Samad, you're going to book it up to the front lines because right now we need people more together. There we go. We are going to take Martine. There's nowhere I want to move you. All of this is uh, very dangerous ground. So what you're going to do is you're going to move over to this high cover here so you're at least a little bit better defended and you're going to reload there. Good to go. There you go. Gunza, you need to reload pretty badly but I have nowhere good to put you. So, you're just going to hide there behind that high cover and reload. You might come around here next turn, but I don't really want to move you out right yet. Um, you guys are going to stay in the train and see if you can't find anything interesting. Tectonic, you need to reload, so you're going to move up to here and reload. We should have plenty of time to get to the bomb. And we should hopefully, Overwatch again, should hopefully be able to get the drop on these guys. Let's have Balos reload as well, just so we have that additional support firepower. And we'll move Frisiani over to here with a dash move, so she's at least closer to the rest of the team as well. Our snipers are ways away, but apart from that, we should have a decent chance of taking these guys out, especially if they actually come back on the other side of the train. If they're over here, we get a good chance to murder them. Like this. This is actually perfect. Doomsday takes him out. Well, I guess we don't need the sniper on that side right now. <laughs> that was the weakened one from earlier. All right. Is that all? Is that all the aliens left? It might be. I'd be surprised if it was, but it might be. Let's move Samad over to here. She might be able to run and gun all the way to the actual bomb, too. Disarm. She cannot run and gun all the way to the bomb, but we'll take another move action with us. I really don't see anything else on this map, though. Doomsday, move up a bit. Still nothing. You're going to reload this turn. There you go. Now, Gunda, can you get on top of the train? You probably could. What we're going to do with you, though, is we're just going to move you over to here. So you have a good line of sight into the primary battlefield here. There might be more enemies spawning over there if we activate the bomb. So we will try and get some people over here who can help defend on this side. We have Tectonic and uh, Doomsday at the moment. Have you overwatch there, even though your laser carbine isn't likely to actually kill anything, it's still good to have on hand. Now, O'Carroll, what do we want to do with you? I could send you over here to give us more support in this side of the map. Because so we have a bunch of people over here already. And we're going to dash free Siani up by the bomb as well to give some more close range support. Both of our assaults are near the front lines here. Hopefully nothing spawns way behind us. That could be a problem. Martine, you're going to move up by this plant. We should probably set up some overwatches since we are getting close to the end of the area. They might be spawning in some nasty things that's hoping to catch us off guard. So I think with the remainder of our actions, we're just going to overwatch. And we'll leave it like that for now. Let's see what the aliens do this turn. I don't really get the feeling there's many of them left. I think we may have basically cleared this place out. So, Samad, you're going to move up to here and deactivate the bomb. We'll see if that's a victory. Not yet. All right, now they're going to swarm in the additional waves. So we'll get ready to deal with that. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, where are they coming in from? That's the remaining question. Now, the one thing I'm unsure about is whether or not I want my sniper this far behind. So I might actually... Come on, game. Give me control of my units again. Sniper. There we go. I might actually move Gunda up to here, just so that she's not by herself so far away. She's still a ways behind the rest of the squad, but at least this way they can still help. So, we are going to have everybody, I think, prepare overwatches where they stand. That should be fine. And we'll get ready to murder a wave of aliens when they land. Because there should be three or four more Thin Men dropping in. Or are they already on the map? Are they not dropping any in? No, there's one. Hello. He should be vaporized instantly. As everybody on this side of the map tries to melt him. Unfortunately, there's one on this side too. That's not so bad. <laughs> he's, he's gone. And there's one here too. Should get hit by the other overwatches. Oh, nope. These guys got that one. Two more. Three more. Okay, there's a lot of thin men all of a sudden. Hello, you're really close. Alright. Wu and Jablonska get to take that guy out. Very nice. Okay, it was a good Overwatch turn. It was a good Overwatch turn. So, what can you see, Gunda? You can see two targets. 100% on that guy. Well, let's take him out then. Go for precision, 85% chance crit, melt him. Thank you. That's one less. How was that damage? 14 <laughs> damage, wow. Alright, all these guys are dead. I'd be quite happy to capture one of them. That'd be nice. Do we have somebody close enough that can actually get the capture to happen? Because Samad doesn't actually have a capture tool. I was kind of hoping that guy wouldn't get blown up, because then we'd have a chance to capture him, but not this time. So it looks like both of these guys have the capture device, which means I'm not going to be close enough. This one was perfect until he exploded. Um, okay, I don't see any behind us either, do I? I don't think any spawned back here. I think we're safe on that front. So, I'm not too worried about that. Yablonska, you're going to move up to here. Oh, forgot about that overwatch. Don't get shot, please. Good. That's a big miss. I actually forgot they were all in overwatch there. That was kind of silly. Thankfully, we were a long way away from him. So, an 88% chance for a kill looks pretty good to me. Doomsday doing damage. Fill in her namesake role there. Got herself a promotion as well. Very nice. So, we have to move up because there's clearly more aliens in front of us. But if we're going to be moving up, we should move up with our scout first to hopefully waste any overwatches that might be around. So, Samad, move up. You found three more Thin Men. Congratulations. It looks like these ones were actually an original pack on the map, though, interestingly enough. Can you flashbang them? No, you can flashbang one of them if you need to, but I'd rather not do that. Alright, Frisiani, you could run and gun up, but that's not super valuable. I might just move you up this turn. Please don't go through the acid, though. I mean... Can you not see that there's a giant pool of acid there? There you go. Go by the bomb. Oh, yeah. That's Overwatches. Right. Don't get shot, please. Okay, good. We found the other guy. I knew he was around there somewhere. I'm surprised that we found him with Frisiani, but not with our scout. I guess that wall was just a little bit too big to give us a line of sight on him. That could be a problem later if he hops over this wall and starts shooting us. So, can I get something here with Leon Wu that'll let us take him out? No, doesn't look like it. I could fire a rocket with Wu, but Wu's out of range. Alright, Leon Wu, you need to overwatch this turn to give us some protect potential protection from that guy. Now, O'Carroll, you're going to go through the acid, aren't you? No, you go around the acid, so that's good. Emma O'Carroll, you need to move up to here. You're our other scout. You have a shot at this one, but it's not a great shot. 52% is pretty bad. Bolos, you need to move up, because right now you're way out of useful range. Especially since your main priority is throwing grenades. You're way too far to do that. I could move you up to here, but you're going to go through the acid to do it. Alright, I'll move you up to this cover. It's not perfect, but it'll do something for you, I hope. No, don't get shot, please. Thankfully, you exposed this guy, which is really nice. So that should force him to run. So we might be able to catch him in an overwatch with somebody. Now, Martine, you are really slow, so you can't really get into useful range of anything. I'm just going to sit you here and have you overwatch and hope something comes towards us far enough that you can do something about it. Samad, you're in full cover, which is good, because you're going to need it. Um, O'Carroll, you're going to take a shot at this guy, even though it's not a great shot. 
Hey, you got him. That's the important thing. Doing damage is good damage. Now, Samad has a chance to try and kill this guy off. Or to try and attack any of the others. She has really high crit chance because of her aggression, though. Which is nice. Should probably go for the kill, though, here. Either that or flashbang an enemy, but removing an enemy altogether is better than just flashbanging one. There we go. Another thin man down. That's good news. Now, these two might give us a problem. So might the guy on top of the building over there. Spit. No, shots fired. Suppression fired. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That guy is probably dead now. Now, this one is going to be a bit of a nasty one. What's he going to do? He's double moving. Okay, I'm okay with that. And what is this guy going to give us? A shot. Reaction shot from covering fire happens. Ooh, that's something we haven't seen ever. She hits her covering fire reaction shot. And the Thin Man misses us. That was awesome, Martin. That was awesome. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen at all. Okay, that's cool. Martin, can you finish him off? Probably not, but what's your aim? 54%? You know what? Go for it. <laughs> yes! Follows up with a kill. Fantastic, Martin. That's awesome. I was I don't I think that's actually the first time we've ever gotten anything good out of that ability. We have an 87% chance shot at this guy, but more importantly, we have an 87% chance shot at the guy who's hard to see. So Gunda, take a shot at him. Three damage is three damage. That was really low. Like really low. Samad, you can get close enough to this guy to point blank murder him. I don't think anybody can get into capture range still. No, these guys are too far away. I might have been able to capture this guy. I don't think so, though. I think he was still just out of capture range, so I don't feel too bad about finishing him off there. No, none of these people are overwatching, so Samad can go take a kill if she feels like it. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the last enemies on the map, too, so I don't have to worry about actually being in cover anymore. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to move up with... Oh, you can't get into cover still? Alright, take a shot at this guy. 58% chance isn't great, but if you fail, we'll follow up with the laser carbine, which should be more than enough with the bonus of holo targeting. So... I have nowhere good to put you, though, unfortunately. But you know what? I don't think it's really going to matter. I think we basically got these guys where we want them. So, Leon, come stand here in the open, and you're going to finish this guy off. 85% chance to kill him. Thank you. The best cover reduction he'd get was one there. I figured we'd be fine, and we were. Now, this is the last enemy on the map, so we're going to move up and take him out. Farisiani, you've already leveled up. So we're going to let Hoda Samad take a shot to try and finish this guy. But first, we're going to put an accuracy boost on him from O'Carroll. So O'Carroll, you have a 52% chance to hit him. That's fine. As long as you give the accuracy bonus, we're not likely to hit him sillily. Plus, that means he's in easy range of a shotgun kill. So Samad, you're going to move right up next to him. And blast him to death. Goodbye, Thin Man. This should be the end of the mission. Six damage crit. It's not a shotgun, but it easily killed him. Swift dirge was a success. 18 aliens killed, no operatives lost. Very nice. All right. That's a great mission for us, though. Gives us a ton of cash, which is what we wanted, and it helps calm Germany down again right before the council report again, which is hilarious. They have been trying to leave the council for so long, but we keep getting lucky and getting them sucked back in again with these random missions, which is great for us. All right. Ooh, Farisiani, that hurts. A 39-day grave wound. Ouch. And we have a promotion to Sergeant for Doomsday. She earned that one for sure. So she can have Danger Zone, Executioner, or Tactical Sense. Now, Danger Zone, all these give us mobility. Ooh, Executioner gives you four aim, two will, and a mobility, and that plus 10 plus uh, crit and aim chance against weakened enemies. Um... I really don't use Suppression. I should use it more. I really don't, though. So I think I'm going to give you Executioner, because that aim bonus, will bonus, in addition to the mobility bonus, would be really nice. I don't think it affects rockets at all, obviously. But you don't have rockets. You have Shredder ammo. That Shredder hollow targeting area of effect could be really good, though. But we never use it. I think we have somebody else who has that. I'm going to give you Executioner. There you go. Doomsday. You now have Executioner. Congratulations. We'll experiment with different soldiers as we go. Frisiani, you can have Close Encounters or Rapid Fire. Obviously not extra conditioning. That's not what we want. But, uh... These are both pretty cool. 
They're really cool if you can get both of them, but you can't get both of them, it looks like, in this, uh, in Long War. Hmm. Rapid Fire is nice at distance. Close Encounters is cool because you can do things like take a shot and then use your second action to capture because it doesn't take an action for the first one. Problem is you can't move as fast with it, so you can't run and gun into it. You can, I believe, run and gun into Rapid Fire, which is pretty cool. Um, your movement range is decent. We'll give you Rapid Fire, and we'll experiment with it. Rapid fire is good. Close encounters is also really nice. But we'll take rapid fire, I think. Yeah, we've already given one person close encounters. We'll give you rapid fire, free Siani. We'll give some other people different skills as we go. So that'll do for now. We have a sectoid corpse, 17 thin man corpses, 18 weapon fragments, and 2 meld. More importantly, though, 253 credits and a panic reduction. Fantastic. Remember, Swift Dirge was a success. That's a ton of money again, which is great, because ex experimental warfare is about to take over, and now we've got the cash to do stuff with it. How's our situation? We're looking for... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Two full bars of panic removed from Germany. Oh, man. Oh, man. Those aliens must be so frustrated. Germany just refuses to go down. Oh, man. Okay. That's great. <laughs> awesome. So we might try and finish experimental warfare here and then end the episode so we can see what research options we get. Because we're so close. There we go. What does this give us? As we continued our research into the alien weapons fragments and the other materials recovered from the field, we've come to realize how the aliens managed to make these substances work in conjunction with one another. While reducing the size of these components is often a challenge in itself, we've passed a number of interesting conceptual designs onto the engineering team. Dr. Shen seems confident that given the appropriate resources, he can bring many of these concepts to life. New combat systems, scope upgrade, adaptive tracking pod, and smart shell pod. I don't know what those are. I'm guessing these are shiv upgrades. Smart shell pod allows the accurate... Firing of accurate low-damage bursting rounds. Okay, this is flush for shivs. That's cool. Some of our troops are asking for specialized equipment to combat the alien threat. We believe it can produce some new accessories to increase their effectiveness on the battlefield. Use the new project option in the foundry to undertake this project. Okay. Our laser sights in the portable targeting module called Scope could be upgraded to highlight sensitive points on the enemy targets. We believe that the chance of critical shots would increase accordingly. So this is the crit boost for scopes. Adaptive tracking pod is shivs. No longer have a name penalty for Overwatch. That's cool. Oh. Ooh, I like this one. Advanced aerospace concepts. There's so many things we need, though. I really need alien, alien power systems. I should really do the muton autopsy, because that'll let us do the muton interrogation, which might give us a really nice um, credit. Probably a weapons credit, though. Knowing mutons, that's, that's normally what they're used for. I'd really like to get, to get better armor, too. But I really want this, because I think this will let us make our planes way more effective. It's uh, this, this sounds like it's going to give us upgrades to make our planes better. Research in this direction should enable us to develop systems that allow us to keep up. This sounds like what we need to do, because our planes are getting consistently outgunned, even with more powerful weaponry. So I think we're going to do advanced aerospace concepts then alien power systems, then the muton autopsy and interrogation, and then we'll go from there. Because uh, I think we need this, and we badly need this to be able to build more as well. So we'll do this first. It's only seven days. Advanced aerospace concepts. Okay, engineering in the foundry. We have access to the scope upgrade, which we are... 30 credits? Yes! <laughs> Absolutely yes! Better critical chance for 30 credits? Yeah, done. Six days? Not a problem. New combat systems is 60 credits, but I have no idea what that does. Let's do this and see what it gives us. 6 Illyrium, 9 Alloys, that's easily affordable. 11 days on that one, 60 credits is a little bit more expensive, but we just got a ton of cash to do this stuff with, so I'm not too worried. Alright, I like the look of that stuff though, that looks good. Enhanced lasers is done in 2 days too, I have no idea what that does, but it might be good. So, I think this is where we're going to end the episode though, this is pretty sweet stuff we just got access to. I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode, continue consider throwing a like on it, maybe. If you're not subscribed, consider clicking that button. Anyhow, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And until then, bye bye